Hi! Just got off work. I started my garden today and it was a pleasurable experience. I sweated. And sweat is good. And I was tired. I came in, I took a shower, and I took a nap before working. I'm just now finishing working and I just wanted to share. I still am unpacking, not unpacked. Still have another load in Atlanta to bring back here, but oh, so be it. Tomorrow, I will tackle some of the in-house work since I've taken care of the outside work. I watered my plants today and my seeds today. I still have more planting to do. I have to get some more um, organic soil. I've been enjoying. I don't know if you guys can hear my space, but my space is it echoes so i was gonna make noise so you guys can hear it the guy who did this place was into radionics and sound and the way that sound and vibration can heal disease and sickness and psychotronic so he's into sound and sound waves and i swear one of the machines that he built is in his house i i know he built it in here he was into crystals oh i'm getting chills he was getting crystal into crystals and it said that this place is built on top of crystals and around crystals and so forth and so on and so be it. So what I will do is share with you um, the echo. Um, I don't know if you guys can really hear. I'm trying to be loud so you can hear. The echo of this place. So did you hear it? <laughs> anyway, I love my space. And lately, I've been so concerned about something that I have not fully enjoyed the fruits of my labor. Um, the man Or the fruits, not of my labor, but of my, my womb. The manifestation of something that I wanted. And I mean, it was the simplest thing to do. I was able to get the place pretty much just on almost faith. Um, the lady really worked with me on payments and, well, kind of, sort of. And it, it's, just, it's just been such a pleasurable journey into this space. And she loves me and her husband loves me and they look out for me. And so I have another family member. I have family. I'm about to tear up. I mean, they really love me. She really takes good care of me. She comes down. She knocks on doors, checks on me. She takes care of me. And so I'm so grateful for the love. I'm so grateful for my little sister, Callie Shabazz. She blessed my account with some money, um, my PayPal account. And a lot of people don't know this, but like I really took everything to move into my spot. So having that support was so great. She basically bought my garden. She bought the seeds. She bought the soil. She bought the plants. She bought the shears. She bought my garden. She bought it. So it's been a, a beautiful journey to get here. And I haven't fully... Um, really enjoyed the fruits of my labor or really even enjoyed it you know because I've been distracted by this other thing and I've been so concerned about my heart and you know how the situation is going to turn out and what's happening with this person and what's happening with me to the point that I haven't fully just sat in my creation and just enjoyed it so after some conversation today I said you know what no more breaking my own heart no more breaking my own heart trying to get understanding where there's none to be had. No more breaking my own heart trying to get attention or care or concern where it is not or where it is not wanting to be expressed. No more breaking my own heart. So I don't know if this helps anybody else or if this is beneficial to you. Great. No more breaking your own heart. Don't break your own heart. Um, there's no need for it. And there's such wonderful... And, 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 and then, if I can create all of this... Like, I'm just at the precipice of my creations, you know what I'm saying? Like, I have not even began to be in this space and just be clear and just be excited and happy and full. What could I have already created by now if I wasn't distracted by other things that really don't matter? They do, but they don't, you know? And... It's only so much you can do. It's only so much you can do as a being for another being or for yourself. It's only so much you can do. So just do what you can do. And if you've done, after you've done, all you can.
you just stand. What do you do when you done all you can? And it seems like it's never enough. And what do you say when your friends turn away and you're all alone, all alone, all alone? How do you handle the guilt of your past? Tell me how to something the pain. <laughs> you just stand. You just stand, you just stand, you just stand. So I'm standing. I birthed the garden. That was like one of my major goals for this year was to birth the garden. I am birthing a garden. I have watermelon. I have green peppers. I have bell pepper, uh, green and red peppers. I have dragon cayenne pepper. I have um, heirloom watermelons, sugar babies. Gonna be great. I'm gonna get some can not cancel up. I'm gonna get some honeydew melon. I have okra. I have um, what else do I have? Okra, um, different types of sage, thyme. I have lavender. Anybody who knows me knows lavender makes great love to my soul. So now I have a lavender plant right outside my door. That's freaking awesome. Um, I have a peppermint. I just took a leaf of peppermint from the peppermint bush and I didn't even rinse it off. I just ate it and it was great and it was from outside and it's just wonderful to be in this environment. Um, what else? I got, I got cucumbers, I got broccoli, I got kale. I'm going to do the broccoli and kale later in the year when it gets a little cooler. It likes to go, grow in the cooler months. Um, I'm going to plant potatoes and radishes and rutabagas because I love rutabagas. And so I'm going to plant my own. Um, I got beets. I'm, I'm going to plant my own beets and carrots so that when I do my juices, I have my own stuff to juice. And it's organic. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I haven't been really eating here. I ate last night. That's the first time I ate, like, in a week. I had, like, a little something to snack on today. So, a few dried apples. And, um, this is my bag of dried apples. I've been living off of this since I've been out here. It's been a week. And it was full, but I'm not really eating it. And I had, uh, that was it today. That was really it. So, I'm excited. I'm excited about letting go of that, which I cannot change. Letting go of needing to feel a certain way based on what someone else is going to do or not going to do. And I'm just going to enjoy the space that I've created for myself because I deserve it. Um, mm, I went from giving up a space six months ago, seven months ago, to having another space that's even more what I want. So I'm going to enjoy this moment and I'm not going to let anybody or anything take it from me anymore. And whoever sticks around, sticks around. Whoever doesn't, doesn't. And life will go on for all of us because it always does. Um, I'm grateful for this space. I'm grateful for the people that love me, show me, appreciate me, honor me, respect me, and make that known and make it plain in words and actions and deeds. I'm grateful for those who love me and don't know how to do that too. And it's okay. I'm grateful for this season of my life of mm, creation and manifestation and magic. And I'm still in awe of this space. I'm still in awe of this space. I created this wonderful dome home and I don't even know how I did it other than I just knew I needed to be out in the wilderness. And... So I'm talking with my um, neighbor and lady who owns the land today. She's my big sister now. And I'm talking to her, and she wants the solar panel too. So we're going to be upgrading these spaces in the next year into solar panel homes. And I'm going to be helping with that. And that's what I wanted. I got well water. I'm going to have solar paneling. I mean, I'm going to have a garden. She has a big garden and a greenhouse so I won't even have to worry about needing 
you know what I'm saying? Like that's, that's sustainable living. That's what it's about. And that was in my heart. And so I created it and I would love to have people to share it with. That's why my, the invitation for those of you that I love and care about to come out here is very much so in effect. And when I meet my him, he'll be here with me. Mm -hmm. I look forward to knowing him and loving him and being loved by him. So with that being said, um, and if him never comes, him is in me. So I'm cool. I'm really content. I'm not a, a, a disgruntled kind of person unless I'm being fucked with. I don't like being fucked with. And I don't like being played with. And I don't like being played. And I can be a little more, more unlike the divine starfly. And who's to say that it's not divine? I can so get sick met on you. I can so get vested on you. I can so get Kali or Durge on you. I could so, I could so, I could so do it, but I'm going to stay in the remnant of love unconditionally, and I'm going to keep glowing and shining and loving and being and getting younger and more beautiful every day with every experience, and I hope you do the same. Here's to not breaking our own hearts. We deserve not to do that. And highest love, I thank you for listening to me, for supporting me, for allowing me to help gr with your growth and expansion, for reading my heart, for entrusting me with your sacred spaces and gates like your eyes and your ears and your mind and your soul and your spirit. And until soon, because I will be posting again soon. I love you. I'm going to bed. I'm ready for bed. Talk good night. Mm.